my friends. Hello, beautiful souls. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing great. Um, you and your family and your loved ones. I hope you're all safe and you're all doing good. Um, uh, we're going through a crazy time right now. And, um, I know it's very difficult for lots of people. We've been locked down. I'm in France, you know, so we've been locked down for a month now. And, um, yeah, I'm just trying to do one day at a time and uh, stay calm, you know, and um, stay away from the virus. I protect myself when I go get some food. And, you know, we're all doing good for the moment. So I guess that's the most important. Uh, my business um, has been shut down for a month now. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy, but... I can't do anything about it, so I'm just patient. And um, I'm doing some videos, and this one is in English, obviously. <laughs> so um, I hope you're gonna have a good time with me. Um, I won't do a long video. I'm gonna, yeah, try to show you the cards and maybe give you some meanings of what I feel about a few of them, I guess. And, um, yeah, it's a presentation. So before I start, um, first I want to say, I'm sorry, you guys, if I don't do as much videos in English that I do in French, um, my vid, my, my channel is a French content channel, but, uh, some of you, uh, I know that some of you watch my videos from all around the world in the US, in Australia, in New Zealand, in, you know, um, Ireland, England. So I'm sorry if I don't do as many videos in English as you guys want. <laughs> uh, some of you ask me uh, if I can do half videos in French and half videos in English. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna try to think about how I can organize myself to do more videos in English. So, well, I hope you like this one. And um, first, before I show you the deck and give you some explanations and stuff, uh, disclaimer. Yeah, I think that's important for me to do it. This deck, obviously, is a dark deck. I mean, you can see the decoration. Um, this deck is all about death, okay? Um, there are skulls, bones, and other things related to death. So, if you don't feel like uh, watching this video, if you don't like dark things, if you're not into dark things at the moment, because of what we're going through with the coronavirus and I totally understand please please don't don't watch this video okay I don't want to offend anyone or I don't want to hurt anyone um it's just that my energies are matching this deck at the moment you know I, I'm working a lot on shadow work with dark decks and um, yeah, so I feel like doing this video. Um, I'm happy to do it. I hope you guys will enjoy it. But if you don't feel like, you stop right now and it's okay. All right, so now we jump into it. So this deck, um, I pre-ordered this deck a long time ago. I don't even remember when. Uh, so it came, it came with um, a bag. You know, so it's okay. I can put everything inside. So yeah, to store it, it's nice. Uh, I think it's cotton. So it's a regular bag, you know, nothing fancy. And it came with a little gift. And this I have to show you because I love him so much. Look at that face. I like the mix of the gold and turquoise color. And um, it's a pendant, actually. So I'm wearing it at my neck once in a while. And uh, yeah, it's very beautiful. So I'm going to put it right here. 
So this deck comes with a card. It's not a business card. It's a, a death card, as you can see. And I think it's her death card um, in her tarot deck. Oh, shoot. I should have uh, verified this first. Uh, I'm going to check. I'm going to check on it because I don't remember if it's the same card. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to check on it. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. So uh, this card is uh, from the Antique Anatomy uh, Ephemera Edition. And I love this deck. And uh, I think they're going to work well together. Yep. So this, wa this one was in the tarot deck. Okay, so uh, the death card. I, I think we all got the same. So here, um, I'm getting closer. I hope you can see well. Sometimes my zoom is crazy, so I'm sorry about that. I apologize if you guys can't read it. So Black and the Moon, that's the name of her company, Tarot and Spirituality. You have her links, her website and her Instagram. So I invite you guys to check on her because uh, she's a great artist. And if you like uh, this, um, you'll like what she's uh, doing on the, her website and her in Instagram. The boundaries which divide life from death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where one ends and where the other begins? Death is the universal constant. It is inescapable and it is painful, but also necessary to make room for new life. Sometimes endings are expected, other times they are sudden and shocking, but they share the same result, change. While some cards in the tarot allow us to shape our circumstances and change the outcome, death is not one of these cards. When it appears in your reading, you have to accept an ending is coming and go with the flow. Death also reminds us to explore the shadow side of our psyche in order to appreciate the light aspects of life, like joy and positivity. We have to understand the dark aspects like pain and grief. So, yeah, to, to me, this deck um, is a deck I like to use now, you know. Uh, it can be crazy for some people. <laughs> You know, some of my friends, they don't understand that because they're like, okay, um, it's painful, it's difficult. We're going through the, the, the crazy coronavirus thing and you're using this kind of decks. Um, you're kind of insane and I'm like, yeah, whatever. If that's what you think, I'm okay with that. But, you know, I can't change myself. So, yeah, so I wanted to share the little card with you guys. And uh, it's coming with um, a nice booklet. So it's a small one, as you can see, but it's good to have a booklet for, you know, um, if you're not into this kind of decks and you're kind of new to, to Oracle cards and Le Norman, it's good to have a little booklet. So um, Memento Mori, you have the translation in its Latin and it, um, yeah, it says, remember, you must die. Everybody dies, you know, someday. So, yeah, mm, think about it. Uh, so here you have a little um, introduction. And um, it says that Memento Mori is a 85 card oracle deck depicting the, real the ritualistic and heroes, ha, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I go, I go again. Memento Mori is an 85 card oracle deck depicting the ritualistic and historical objects we use in life and death. Yeah, I got this one. Inspired by the iconography of graves, the tools of witchcraft and the advancement of the industrial revolution, this deck purposes to enrich your life on a deep and profound level. Warning, 
This deck should be cleansed often to remove the buildup of stagnant and otherworldly energy. So she says that you can ring a bell over the deck or you can knock three times on the deck. Yeah, whatever ritual you're used to, you go with that. Um, so Memento Mori is a work of art that deserves respect and care. Please keep it out of di direct sunlight and free of dust and debris. Okay. So um, in this deck... All the flowers are white or black, okay? So you have the meaning for white and the meaning for black. White is rebirth, life, purity, positivity, cleansing, healing, simplicity, ghostly, white magic, innocence, cold, sterile. And black is death, protection, strength, authority, elegance, fear, negativity, power, black magic, the underworld grief release. So it can help, you know, to understand the, the cards uh, when you have um, white flowers or black flowers. So um, you have all the cards here. So you have the number and the name of the card and a few words about it or keywords for all of them just like an oracle deck okay here is the oracle deck 85 cards but if you go to the end you have the first 36 cards with um keywords and those are the keywords for the le normand deck okay so you can use only the le normand if you want or you can use all the deck you do whatever you want. Uh, there are several options, so it's up to you, of course. But sometimes the meaning of the Le Norman, if you use it as a Le Norman deck, um, is not the same as the Oracle deck. You know, for example, um, I go with the Rider. The the Rider is horseshoe in this deck, so it means news or messages in a Le Norman deck. And here it's protection from evil and harm, protects the home when hung above a door, a lucky profession, mastering a skill, a helpful stranger will arrive. So it's not exactly the same thing, okay? Um, and um, I like to use it like a Oracle deck. But maybe sometimes I will do a grand tableau uh, with only the Le Normand cards. I don't know yet. But for, for now, I like to use it um, more as an oracle deck, a regular oracle deck. But I think that's very smart she did that, you know. And of course, you can use the Le, the Le Normand deck and uh, you can complete the spread uh, using the other cards of the oracle deck of course you can do that too so no spreads um no more information about it so i invite you to use the the the, the spread you you like to use with other cards you know uh, so you can do a grand tableau of course for the le norman part um or you can do whatever you like you know you can yeah, you can use this Oracle deck, deck just like a regular Oracle deck. So that's all for the book, for the booklet. It's a small one. And then you have um, the copyright and everything here. And the special thanks. Yep. So um, I think we're done for that. And now we're going to have a look at the cards, of course. So, uh, first the box, it's a regular tech box. So you have the card of the Memento Mori here on the front. You have the year of creation, 2019. This is the obelisk. So this is the mountain in the Lenormand deck. And um, it's quite different uh, in the Oracle, I tell you after. Uh, we have a brain over here and a heart over here. So I like the box. 
Okay, guys, let's have a closer look to the card. So I won't tell all the meanings because it's going to be a too long video if I do that. But I'm going to give you some, some of them. So this is the backing, as you can see, with the two skulls and bones. So it can be, as I told you before, uh, read reversed. So the first 36 cards are the Lenormand deck. So this is the first one, Horseshoe. So Horseshoe is obviously the rider. Clover. Wheel. So uh, wheel is the wheel of the sheep. So it's the sheep. And uh, the sheep means uh, travels, long distance. Um, but if you use this card uh, with the oracle, it can also mean a change of direction. For example, maybe you, 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 you're thinking about changing uh, your job, do another job, you know, or maybe you, you're thinking about moving uh, from house, you know. So it depends of the other cards of the spread, of course, but yeah, it has a different, a different meaning. Grave. So grave is the house in the Lenormand. Gallows. The tree. Tree means a uh, elf. Um, it, it's also about karma. It's also about uh, growth. In the oracle, it can be a punishment, you know, but it can be different things. I just give you examples. Smoke, so smoke, smoke um, represent the clouds. Snake, this one hasn't changed. Casket, so this is the coffin. Wrath. Uh, so this one um, is the bouquet, the bouquet, the bouquet, le bouquet, le bouquet in French. Uh, so le bouquet is something um, that represents most of the times a gift, happiness, beauty, something charming. Um, this is quite different, of course, uh, if you use it in the oracle deck. Scythe, whip, so those ones have the same name. Bats, bats is the bird card. So birds is uh, communication, um, short messages, chatter, it can be gossips as well. And um, in the oracle, it, it's, um, it's a card of magic, you know. It can mean um, magic, intuition, things like that. Child. It's like a photo. So we have skulls of the animals. We have fox over here. Bear. Stars. I think this one is very beautiful. Stars is a card of hope. Raven. So um, Raven is the, the card that replaces the stork. <laughs> uh, so um, it means fertility, change. And um, it's beautiful. I love crows. I have one here in onyx, black onyx. And I love it very much. Dog, loyalty, friendship, playfulness, the tower.
So symmetry is the garden. <laughs> so it's kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny for me uh, because the garden represents uh, meetings, uh, public, uh, public, um, env environment. Uh, it can also uh, represent the social media, uh, where we meet people, where we talk to people, and uh, you know. So yeah, symmetry. It's it's kind of, I don't know. Um, I think it's kind of um, not funny, but sometimes you know, like vacant and occupied. I mean. Yeah, it makes me smile when I see that. And um, this deck has a, has a sense of humor. Yeah, it does. So this is the obelisk. The obelisk is the mountain, as I told you. Uh, so the mountain is obstacle delays when you're stuck and it's difficult to climb the mountain and everything. And in the oracle deck, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it also means um, man sexuality. So, yeah, it can represent a penis. So it can mean penetration and um, sexuality. And um, we have another card for the woman's sexuality in the deck. So, see, it's different from the mountain. The meaning is not the same at all. Crossroads, rats, so they are the mice, heart, it's beautiful, look at this card, I like vintage decks like that, ring, beautiful, book, it's closed. When the book is closed, uh, it can mean that something is hidden, you know, you don't know everything, you don't know the truth, or you don't have all the knowledge, or you still have things to learn. And when it's open, it's different, but this one is closed. Letter, messages, news, invitation. Man and woman, the couple, the happy couple. They're smiling, so I guess they're happy. <laughs> Lilies, so they're white. Um, sometimes in some decks, they're red. So red is more sexuality, patient, you know, but here they're white. So to me, they are more like something new, innocence, um, peace, you know, and can represent older people too. Sun and moon. Look at that. I like that. Two different energies. <laughs> yep. Key. Here, fish. So we all know that fish is money, commerce. Um, yeah. Anchor and cross. Cross, which is a very difficult card. It's all about suffering, uh, carrying a burden, uh, grief. It's not an easy card, but you know. These two shall pass. So that was the Lenormand cards. Okay. Now let's have a look to the other ones. Poison. Somebody around you is toxic. So yeah, be careful with who you, you, you are and um, just connect with people that matches with your energy. Yep, salt. Salt is um, protection, 
you know, you can put uh, salt in the corners of a room, for example. So th this is very witchy. Cup. Abundance. This is abundance. Perfume. Violette. Préparé par Marianne, parfumeur Paris. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there's a few words in French. <laughs> So um, the perfume, perfume to me is, you know, when you want to seduce a man or you want to seduce someone, um, you put some perfume and, um, you know, when you, you're going to first meet him, for example, uh, you're trying to look nice and smell good and everything. So yeah, the perfume. Lantern. Uh, I don't know, this one makes me think about the hermit in the tarot, you know. How glass. So this card is a time card, but it means uh, something, you know, not now, not in the next, the, the near future, but maybe like in a few months or a few years, you know. So um, we have another one uh, in the deck for the, the near future. So this is not now. This is maybe someday, but not soon. The mirror. The reflection of ourselves. Broom. Broom um, is um, protection against the curses and stuff. You know, when it was uh, hanged at the doors um, a long time ago. People don't do that anymore. Uh, not a lot of people do. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, cleansing, but more like protection from curses and stuff. Scale. Sign. Spirit board. The Ouija. So it means, um, yeah... Communicate with spirits, having message from them, from your guides, from from spirits in general. Tasseography. Chiromancy. I love this card. Um, fate, of course. Life and what what is important in, in your life. You know, it can be your career, your marriage children, you know, all the big lines in your life. Crystal ball. Crystal ball. Crystal ball is more about uh, divination, um, clairvoyance, intuition as well. Teapot. Teapot. When you share a cup of tea with your friends at the cafe and uh, you're talking, you know, about gossips and stuff like that, <laughs> that can be a meaning for this card. But it also means um, medication when you need to be healed for something. If you get a cold or, you know, uh, you drink a warm tea and uh, it can be a, a medicine, kind of medicine. The crown, success, number one, candle. When you have a new idea, just like the, the Ace of Swords, uh, you know, you have an epiphany, you have a new idea, something is coming up to your mind. Ladder, puppet. Scissors. Scissors, when you need to cut a bond that is not good for you. Uh, that's what it means, the scissors. You need to cut some bonds, some, you know, attachments that, that are no, not longer good for you. The sachet. So it's like the medicine bag where you put everything you need inside. You can put stones, herbs, you know. And um, all those little things, you put intentions in all those little things. Manifestation. Globe. 
watch. So the watch is the near future. The hourglass, no, but this one, yes, something is close to you in time. Plague doctor, oof. Yeah, you have to be careful, wear your mask, your gloves, you know, protect, protect yourself. Uh, it can be a disease um, and um, maybe you need a doctor or someone around you needs a doctor. Knife is betrayal when somebody stabs you in the back, you know, with a knife. This is metaphor metaphorical. Metaphoric? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, my brain is uh, speaking French and English at the same time. So I know you, you understand what I wanted to say. I'm sure. Lock. Uh, so lock means security when you feel secure when you need to be secure or you need to be in security but also something that is locked for now you can't have access to this thing or this person pot uh, so for me is um i don't know what she says in the guidebook i don't remember but it's more like the cauldron the the witch the witch's cauldron, where you put all the ingredients to make a potion, a potion. So it takes a long time, you know, to do the right potion. So some things that uh, takes time, but you have a result afterwards. Coins, coins means money, cash, you know, everything uh, related to money. Remedy, cure. Syringe. Mort bell. Shovel. When you need to dig. Digging is a hard work. Uh, it's going to be difficult to dig. But you have to uh, dig and go inside of you. You have to dig deep, deeper, deeper. If you want to... Know what you want, what your heart wants, what your your head wants, your mental. It's a mix of the two. What do you really want in your life? So dig, dig, dig. Don't stop digging. Charm. Charm is beautiful and it's something um, related to... Um, how can I say that? Uh, gris gris, but gris gris, you won't understand if I say gris gris. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna check the guidebook because I forgot the word. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Uh, la, la, la. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, mm, mm, yeah, uh, emulet. This is an emulet. So something that gonna bring you uh, protection, you know. And this is um, magical powers, stuff like that, that makes you feel good, good. You feel protected, like, yeah, you have the magic and, you know. Embal embalming fluid. Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> yeah, so um, obviously it's used to preserve bodies, but... In the card, it means that it can it it's something you use to preserve something. For example, a tradition in your family. You're working hard to preserve this tradition because it, it's important to you. You know. Rope. So rope uh, can have two meanings. It's um, a bond between two people, so something nice, you know. Um, but it can also be something holding you back. So maybe you are in a relationship that holds you back and you don't know how to cut the, ro the rope. So yeah, it can be both. But it can be something positive too. Pedestal. Medical kit. 
So this is all about medical care, healing the body, the mind, uh, maybe need um, a doctor or something, um, someone who needs a nurse, you know, regularly, on a regular basis. Sextant, sextant, viewing table, glove. So glove is um, when you hide something, you know, you, you, you can wear gloves and we don't see your hands. So it can mean that you are, you're hiding something to someone uh, or, or you handle things with care. Um, for example, a situation, it can be a situation, it can be taking care of someone, you know. Uh, caring about someone and um, also be careful don't get your hand dirty so be careful what you get involved in pillar something strong something solid harp tear catcher okay now stop um, you cry enough, you cried enough, no more tears, so just move on. Amputation, so this is a tough one too. You know, when someone needs an amputation of a leg, of an arm, of course, he misses his leg or his arm or her. But... Um, it saved his life. It saved his life. So maybe you should, you know, um, cut something in your life. Do a different job. Not being in this relationship anymore because it doesn't bring you joy or happiness or love. Of course, it's going to be painful. It's going to take time to recover from it. But then your life will be better, you know? So, yeah, that's the kind of meaning we can have do with this card. Door. A new door is opening for you. Look, there's someone behind the door. So just open it. New opportunities for you. Cat. So this one is the sexuality card for women. So the obelisk is for men. This one is for women. Um, it means, in the first place, the cat means uh, the familiar of the witch. Uh, it can, of course, relate to all the qualities um, and the character of the cat. So it can be mystery, you know, it can be independence, stuff like that. Uh, also creativity. But it also means uh, women's sexuality. So, yeah, we have two different cards for sexuality, and I think it's good. It's smart. Awesome. Uh, the urn. A memorial object, of course. Ashes, of course. But uh, remembrance. Eternal remembrance. Something important. Offerings. Ritual of offerings. Um, it's speaking about your own ritual, how you're doing them. Um, what do you ask when you, you, you do that? Uh, who do you ask? Uh, gods, god, goddesses, your um, totem animal, uh, spirits, guides, you know. So, yeah, it's connected to all these things and um, magical ingredients you're using. Um, you need to ask for help. If you have this in a reading, it means that you need to ask for help uh, to your guides and whoever you, you, you like to. Um, and maybe that, you're, um, that you get what you want, you know. Uh, you're going to get what you want. You ask for, you work for, um, you, you had a very pure intention and you manifest it and you're going to get what you want.
it's all this and many and, and much more and memento mori memento mori re remember you must die so live your life well be kind to everyone be kind to yourself take care of yourself and be kind to others and um yeah i know these times are difficult you guys but we we're gonna get through this and these two shall pass these two shall pass so well i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was not too long it was a pleasure for me to be with you and um I think you can still find this deck on her website. I'm going to put all the links down below. So thank you so much. If you stay that long, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you with me today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or, um, you know, like the video. You can share it, pass it to your friends if you think they're going to like it. And you take care of yourself. Take care of your family. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of light, lots of energy. And um, I will see you in another video. Bye now.